De'Aaron, 10 assists for you tonight. Does it feel like your playmaking has picked up in that area? It feels like you've been not just focusing on scoring, but just taking what the defense has been giving you. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, when I'm seeing double teams and seeing uh, blitzes coming off of ball screens, um, I definitely think it's a, it makes it a little bit easier to play make. And, uh, you know, just when we have an advantage on the back end, three on four, it's easier for me to just get off the ball. De'Aaron, you and Domas both seem to kind of hand the game over there late to Malik. What what went through the thought press the process there, and how do you think he responded? I think he was great for us, and I think he, I mean, he's done it before. Um, he was big for us in that. Um, I mean, at the end of the fourth and in that overtime period. So um, you continue to feed the hot, the hot hand. And obviously, he's a guy who also play makes as well. So, um, you know, him being able to start and finish plays is definitely great for us. And uh, he, he, was, he did a hell of a job in overtime tonight. When you see him kind of going off the way he is and kind of rising to maybe to that next level, um, you mentioned like feed the hot hand. But how much does that kind of energize what you guys do as well? I mean, it's always great when you have multiple guys who can, you know, take over a game. So, um, you know, when it, with him having it going like that, uh, you know that he's all he's also still going to make the right play. Um, if he sees somebody open or if, if he draws two, he still makes the right play. So um, it's not just putting the ball in the basket uh, for him. Fox, in, in regulation over these last four games, you're holding opponents to 101 points per game. Just defensively, the, the growth of this team, what does that say about the, the work that you've put in on that end? Uh, I think we've definitely been better uh, defensively over this over this stretch. Um, you know, we want to be able to try to put complete games in, shoot better um, all, all around. I mean, see if we can have one of those 50-40 games um, on the offensive end and then also do what we're doing defensively. So uh, I think that's the next step for us. Darren, you and Domas had a late communication in regulation that uh, a miscommunication, I should say, that was almost very costly. Would you be willing to share with us what you guys said to each other after that? And what does it say about you as a team that you guys were able to overcome that? I mean, those things happen. Um, there's not really much about it. You know, it was a turnover. They got A on one. We moved on and uh, we, were, we were able to execute the next time down. Yeah, uh, 20 turnovers for you guys as a team and six for yourself really allowed Memphis to kind of stay in this one. What do you feel like kind of led to that? I got tackled a couple times, so I don't know. But, uh, I mean, that's a team that plays hard. Obviously, they have a lot of guys out. Um, they have guys who are young. And they have some guys who are trying to earn their way and stay on roster. But, um, I mean, that's still the same Memphis team regardless. Obviously, you know, their offensive firepower is not the same. But, um they're out, they're out there, they're scrappy, they rebound. Uh, I mean, I think they're like fifth or sixth in turning teams over, so it's not like this is something new to them. That's what they've done on a nightly basis this year. Um, but they did what they did, and uh, we have to be better, you know, holding on to the ball. A couple of those big Malik dunks started with Keon Ellis blocks. He had five of them tonight, another big defensive performance for him. Just the continuation of his growth, just does he does he surprise you, or, or what has he given you? Yeah, I mean, like I said before, I mean, he's uh, – the more he's getting more comfortable out there playing playing heavier minutes and guarding you know some of the best players in the world um and i think he did a hell of a job tonight obviously uh desmond Bain just came back from injury but uh that's a that's a tough guy to slow down regardless of you know how many games you've played or how many games he's played um and i think he did a hell of a job tonight uh dear and your level of concern for for kevin uh tonight after what happened with him and 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 then um on the other hand um your level of confidence in in keon or, or other guys to, to help fill that? Uh, I mean, I don't know exactly what the injury is yet. I'm pretty sure uh, it's a shoulder injury, but I also haven't looked at the replay yet. But uh, I mean, I, I don't know. But obviously with this team, it's always next man up mentality. Um, you know, we have to we have to be ready to play without Kev if it is, you know, some type of long term thing. Um, and I mean, I think everybody's confident in Keon and what he's done. You know, if he started or come off the bench, just the minutes that the minutes that he's been uh, providing over the last few games, especially since he's been back in the rotation, have been great. So, uh, for us, we're trying to focus on on the next thing. Obviously, um, we want Kev to be healthy, but um, for whatever it is, if if he's not able to play, uh, then we I mean, we have to be ready to play.